attachment. In December 2012, I got the respiratory bug that was going around, and by the time I noticed that I was already on my way with my carpool to ski Beaver Creek, the temperature was well below zero all day, so as soon as I got back to town, I went to the steam room at the gym to cook the bug. I poured a bottle of cold water on the thermostat to kick up the steam, sat down on the highest bench and started breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth, which I found is the best way to thoroughly heat up my sinuses and throat. And for nearly 30 years, it's kept me from having a cold that lasted longer than a day. Well, I got hot in the steam room. <laughs> the gym management doesn't like for us to fool the thermostat with cold water, but it's the only way to get the room hot enough to be therapeutic. After about 10 minutes, some young men came in and sat down. I could barely see them through the thick steam. But I heard some gasping and several expletives before they left. Two or three other people came in for a minute or two and then left also. I stayed 20 minutes by sheer force of will. When I walked out, I was dizzy and I staggered a bit. So I immediately lay down on the cold concrete floor next to the pool so that I wouldn't fall and hit my head. It felt wonderful. I remembered somebody telling me that the Swedes like to cook in the sauna and then lie in the snow. Now I knew why. As I lay on my back with my eyes closed, thinking of nothing, letting my pounding heart slow down and enjoying the blissful sensations in my body, I suddenly started to rise and expand into the universe. This was different from the time when I instantly was the universe. I was filled with joy at the, pros at the prospect of where I was moving. My ego made no objection at all this time. It felt natural and wonderful. Suddenly, it was like I hit the end of a tether that snapped me back into my body. Immediately, I had an imaginative picture of myself roped to the ground like Gulliver on the Lilliputian beach. There were hundreds of lines, and I, I could see each line distinctly as well as what it represented. One was Deb, another was my daughter, I saw a rope for my son-in-law and one for each of my grandchildren. They were my attachments to this life in this body. Many were minor. For example, I saw a rope for my agreement to ski the next day and another for the transmission fluid that I needed to change in my truck. I had always thought that I needed to evolve into something higher to be able to experience myself as the universe. Now I believe that any of us at any time can do it because that is what we truly are. The reason that we don't is that we have chosen to be in these bodies and live these third dimensional lives for the experiences they bring us. We want to be here and we have attached ourselves to all the parts of our lives. I believe that we will stay here until the very last of these attachments is dissolved.